your confidence with the current leadership of the AUC? Oh, after I heard what I heard yesterday, uh, it, it's, it's, it's really striking. Seven News has confirmed the head of the Office of Unified Communications, OUC, offered her employees a bonus just to show up for their scheduled shifts. The OUC director, Heather McGaffin, sent an email with the $800 offer earlier this week. And it comes just days after a five-month-old died from cardiac arrest during technical difficulties with the 911 dispatch center. And today, we learned first responders were sent to the wrong address for another cardiac arrest. Our Felicia Ashley is joining us live from Northwest D.C. now. Felicia, you spoke to a former MPD officer. He said watching what current first responders and the people working under the current OUC leadership have to go through is disheartening. That's right, and he says that's because, you know, it is normal for there to be mistakes, but he says what is unusual is when those mistakes are not fixed or addressed. And he says who are impacted the most is our first responders as well as the people that they are trying to serve. Can you uh, confirm the address and try and call back? All right, the call, the call will change the address to 3916 Street, okay? Is it 3900-3900? Well, she said 3100 at first. Yeah, so you got to be listening, yeah, and paying attention. So the, the, the EMS people was doing their job. Wh whatever it was that caused her to say 31 versus 39, sometimes they can be mixed up. But again, that's a, that's a mistake that the dispatcher don't have the luxury of making. I met with Ronald Hampton. He's been on the other end of those calls, running to the emergency. <laughs> You have been out on the streets for more than 20 years as a first responder. How important is every second when you're addressing an incident? Not only is everything you do is important, but the information is important, the accurate information, and you're getting it in a timely manner. The director of the OUC offering an $800 bonus <laughs> if you show up to work. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. That's Hampton says the culture and leadership at OUC need to be examined. You mentioned communication is your job as a first responder. Mm -hmm. The director of the OUC, Heather McGaffin, has not communicated directly to the community about what is happening now within the agency. It's unfortunate that that, that sort of attitude exists in government, but I take that to mean you have something to hide. But you shouldn't have anything to hide. The Office of Unified Communication is a government agency. There should be some transparency. There should be some, some, uh, some goals, some objectives, some performance guidelines that exist on whether or not you're doing the job that you need to do. We're still pushing to figure out or rather find out what is actually and physically happening to address the issues going on at OUC. We still have not been able to get concrete answers, but as soon as we get that, we will share it directly with you. Reporting live in Northwest D.C., Felicia Ashley, 7 News. Keep pushing, Felicia. Great reporting. 7 News reached out to Councilwoman Brooke Pinto with several questions about transparency at the OUC and any action that council might take to address staffing and pay concerns there. And she sent us a lengthy statement saying in part, quote, I've been in continuous contact with the executive to get to the bottom of these issues and determine immediately actionable paths forward to improve the reliability, expediency, and accuracy of our emergency response, end quote. We also ask about her level of confidence with the current OUC leadership. She hasn't yet responded to that request. When we get it, we'll post it at WJLA.com.